Welcome to section 19. In this section, we are building image gallery and we are going to live code the image gallery with Bootstrap. And we're going to use very little of custom CSS. Most of it is going to be uh, like um, straight Bootstrap without much uh, custom CSS or any overrides. And in this project, we are going to have fixed at the top now bar, which means the top now bar going to be 100% view per width, but it's going to be fixed at the top. Then we have going to have a jumbotron, and then we're going to have our grid system for the images. And we are going to have a view toggler. So this is a finished version of our project. So we have a now bar, um, and it's fixed, then a jumbotron. And then we have a title, a heading one and images from Unsplash. And I'll show you an easy way how to grab those images uh, from Unsplash and add them into your project. And then we have a grid um, view toggler. So we have a grid and a column. And by clicking column, you get this huge image. Um, basically, I'm just manipulating the column class from column MD4. I'm setting to column MD12. And that's uh, like good enough. I actually prefer our image gallery done this way instead of a light box. I think light box is too much for an image gallery because people come to the image gallery to look at the images. So um, not the light box. Uh, but either way, we're going to build this. This is a very easy thing to do. And in the next video, we are going to get started with creating uh, this nice looking image gallery website. So before we get started, we need to do a little fix to our index.scss. First off, make sure your utilities is at the very bottom because uh, we are going to use some utilities that override the component. So we need to have it at the very bottom. And we are also going to use thumbnails. So we need to include these images as well inside of this index.scss. So two things, images, import those and move your utilities from this part all the way down here. So we can successfully override uh, component styles with utility styles. And so back to index.html, I have no um, content, just the header, main and footer empty. Thanks. And now let's get started. So uh, let's go to the nav bar and I'll go ahead and copy this first nav bar and get back to my text editor and inside of the header, paste in the code, beautify editor content. And now what I'm going to do, so I have a nav bar over here. I am going to create a new div with the class of container. And I am going to wrap most of the now bar inside of this div. So um, let's get down here and add that div inside and beautify editor content, save the document, go to my web page. And now I have a fully stretched now bar, but my now bar content is inside of container. So that's uh, what I was looking for with that uh, container div. Now let's go to color schemes and get this now bar dark and BG dark for our now bar. And if we scroll up and uh, we can replace this two with this one. And now let's save it uh, and have a look at our uh, document and we have our dark now bar. Now, the last thing is the placement. So let's uh, use this uh, fixed top placement. Also, we have a sticky top, which is a bit different. Uh, I'll just demonstrate what sticky top does. So if we copy this sticky top and paste it inside of here, and what we need, uh, we need some content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a P tag with some lorem ipsum and then I am going to just crazy copy it so I could have some length to the document 
and now if we scroll uh, you can see that uh, the now we're gonna hide and i will show you one more cool thing with the sticky top uh, if we add some content over here for example break and then go crazy with the break uh, so this is all the header just extends down uh, we are gonna have our sticky top um, as long as the header is still visible as soon as the header is gone the sticky top goes away so that's the sticky top so keep in mind um when you want to use it and um, but we are gonna have a fixed top now bar so let's go back and instead of a sticky top do a fixed top and and uh, that's about it for the now bar the number is finished so next we are gonna add the jumbotron so let's head over to bootstrap documentation go to jumbotron and the jumbotron that we're gonna use is this one so let's go ahead and copy that and i want to paste it inside of the header so uh, right after the now bar let's go ahead and paste it in and beautify the editor content and now over here we're gonna have image gallery and for the lead text uh, we're gonna say just some random images from unsplash dot com and an exclamation mark and we are not done with the jumbotron yet so if we're gonna save the jumbotron go back to our local host we can see that our jumbotron is kind of wonky um, basically we don't have the space because when you put anything into a fixed uh, position it sort of disappears from the dom um, as of content that actually occupies the space so it kind of floats on top of the web page and in order to fix that we need to go back to uh this section over here and actually into inside of our global that is css we are going to copy this class paste it in and give it a margin top of 100 pixels and now we have some space but our jumbotron takes full width of the container which is not good so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a grid system over here so dev container and then we're going to create a div row and a div column and we are going to push this inside of the column and save the document and now our image gallery sits nicely inside of the grid system so um, that's jumbotron very easy very simple next we are going to do a grid system so let's go back to the text editor and inside of the main tag we are going to create a new container and then we're going to create a row and one column that will stretch at the full width of the row and uh, next we are going to create each one with a text of image gallery uh, next we are going to create a span we're gonna add a class of view toggler this is gonna be um, those two buttons on the very right that will toggle the view so we are going to have an a tag oops um, and we are gonna set this pound to zero uh, and over here we are gonna say grid and we're gonna give an id of grid next link we are gonna do the same thing with the pound zero and i'll explain the pound zero a bit later and why should you use that and for the id uh, we are going to have column and also for the a text going to be a column 
and for the grid link we are going to have a class of active so let's save everything go back into global.scss and we are gonna style those uh, links that we have just created so uh, first off we need to get the view toggler open up the bracket and we are gonna set position to absolute and now let's just double check that everything is working so everything looks fine now let's go ahead and add more styles so we are gonna have top 25 pixels and right zero so it's gonna float to the very right now let's see if that's how it is perfect now let's add a couple more styles next let's target the a link and give it a color of uh, ccc that's gonna be a, a light gray color and then we're gonna pat do padding uh right actually left i'm gonna do seven pixels and give it a font weight of 900 and let's see what we have over, over here so we have um th now we need to go back and do the pattern right yeah that's about it and uh, now we need to do a hover effect so we need to do inside of an a tags and sub pseudo element i'm gonna add a parent a keyword and a colon and do a hover and we just gonna change the color uh, to pound 333 and then we are gonna add after um, the a tag is closed after this bracket we are gonna add a new class for active and we are gonna do the same color pound 333 and probably do a transition over here I'll point 25 seconds and so that that works perfectly so next is uh, we need to do a horizontal line so let's go ahead and throw that in uh, right after this pen we are gonna have an hr tag which gonna give us a horizontal line so everything looks uh, good so far let's uh, go ahead and add the grid system which we are gonna do in our next video